This is an unboxing of a Celestron uh, C90 uh, Maxot of Cassegrain uh, uh, telescope. Uh, I did a lot of research and uh, I wanted something that uh, will not be a dust collector. I had telescopes in the past and I've seen others also have telescopes. And uh, the telescopes usually end up uh, being not used because they're so cumbersome, especially the tube and the uh, mounting of them. Uh, that makes them difficult to use, to carry, to take wherever you want to go. In Britain we, we can. So uh, something that we can use is the best telescope. If we, it is a dust collector, it's not a good telescope. So I have bought this telescope uh, for £165. And uh, I just went, I didn't order it online or anything, I just went to the retailer and I looked at it and I bought it. That's it. And now I'm going to unbox it. Okay, this is the telescope and I'm going to the box of the telescope and I'm going to open it. Okay, it looks well packed and uh, inside the box, oh, there is another box inside. So, let us look. This is a... Celestron C90 Mac, which is a standing for Maxitov, uh, spotting the scope as they call it. This is one of the most versatile telescopes you can have. A telescope that is versatile means you can just put it in a bag, take it away with you, or take it, put it in the car, go to a dark site, or a park, or somewhere, or allotment. Uh, set it up, watch, then come. Even you can do it in your from the comfort of your home. You know, sitting in the living room. We do usually don't have much space, unlike uh, what it was in the past. So, you can sit in the warmth of your home and just uh, look through the double glazed window. <laughs> that's, that's what's the purpose. And I liked it especially because I saw several videos, and there was videos that showed me that actually the optical the quality of the telescope was really good. Um, uh, the optical quality of the telescope was very good. We could easily see the diffraction patterns on the source uh, light source, like a, like a star, like a Sirius. And also, I liked it because this uh, angle of the um, uh, erect image diagonal, which makes it actually you can see the images upright instead of the upside down with the normal astronomical telescope, is at an angle that is not 90 degrees. So you actually are more comfortable looking at that. I have worked with other ones that was 90 degree ones. It's not very easy. This is more uh, ergonomic to see. So, the well-packed uh, telescope, the box, inside a box, and now let's go what is see and to see what is inside. Okay, now this is the box. I've removed the altar box from the actual box, and it looks like a shoe box, large shoe box. And uh, all the specifications is written here, ideal, para observer, oh no, that's in, not in English, I will go in the English version. Yeah, the English version has written, perfect for uh, outdoor and land and wildlife observation as well as celestial viewings. Multi-coated optics, which is very important, max of Castle grain makes it very short, although it is three times folded on itself to make this size, is about 30 centimeter. So that is practically, you have a tube which is folded. Originally it was 90 centimeter, around one meter. And now it is only one foot or 30 centimeter. That makes it really compact. It has a T-adapter thread. It has a 32 millimeter eyepiece, 45 degrees erect, erect image diagonal. So the image you can get with this is really good. Uh, it's good for watching the planets and the moons and the, and uh, the moons of them, if you want, for example, Jupiter moons, the Saturn, rings of Saturn, and uh, for the Uranus and Neptune, probably even you can spot it. But Jupiter, moon also, and very good. Uh, it has a lifetime warranty also, and it is water resistant. It's not waterproof, but it's water resistant. So, and uh, let us see what is inside it. Okay, I've turned the telescope uh, box and I can see there is a bag here also. What is that? Also includes water resistant backpack. Oh, it has a backpack. So let me open this. Oh, I'm getting excited now. It's really versatile. Okay, now I have uh, opened the box. Oh, look at this beautiful backpack. This 
really good sized backpack. Everything comes in this bag. It's black colored, looks good quality. And uh, I have to use both hands to lift it from inside the box. Oh, I must say, I didn't expect it. This one, this is really good. It's a backpack, it has a proper, oh, proper straps. You can put it on your shoulder, carry it to the field, and then wherever you want, you can just uh, set it up. Uh, let me see. I've, uh, oh, look. Lovely. What is this? This is a bushel for it. Makes a 12 telescope. Okay, that's a bushel. Then there is a bubble wrap something inside. Which I have to take it out. Okay. Oh. I think that's the main telescope, which I will open in a minute. But I feel that there is something heavy in this also yet remained. Let me open it. Oh, it has compartments. If if, if the light lets you see, there is one compartment here. Bigger compartment here is for the the actual telescope itself. Tube assembly. And this is what comes inside it. This is lovely bag, lovely, lovely, like a camera bag, camera bag, it's properly pad, padded, so this is uh, another packaging inside it, bubble wrapped, I must say I'm really impressed with the quality, it's a gift box and uh, the rest of it here, oh I can see from outside here there is a lens cleaner, and what is the rest of it, let me see, okay I have now removed the sellotape and you can see what is inside, This is like a bag actually. Okay, oh, I can see it's really sturdy, heavy eyepiece. Oh, I like that. That's one of these good eyepieces. It's heavy, it has a chunk of weight. Oh, that's the uh, spotting scope. And oh, it has a T bracket also. You can put it in the dovetail bracket. And what is this? Oh, that's the diagonal, uh, image erect diagonal. That's also something impressive. Now I've seen this, let me go for the actual telescope. Uh, of course I told that it has also lens cleaner. It's made of the... Yeah, made of the satin. I mean it feels like satin, but probably it's micro fiber. Okay, now this is the time for the actual telescope itself. Let me... I've already removed the thing. And now it's well packed with the bubble wrap. Oh, let me burst one of these. Oh, I cannot burst it. Oh, good quality. Doesn't burst easy. It gives a good protection. This is a tube assembly, which is uh, with a uh, elastic band. Elastic bands in the UK are not rare. You don't see them in the shops anymore. Don't know what's wrong. They don't have any elastic band in shops. Okay, now I am going to open the packaging of this. So I take it from here, hoping that oh, the plastic came out. There is another second uh, wrapping here, which is sellotaped around the telescope. And oh, the wrapping came off. Protective paper, just to very soft paper, like Ch Japanese paper to give the scratch-free delivery and this is the beauty oh it's chunky it's, you can feel it's at least two kilo I think oh I'm really impressed and the first thing comes first is the warning do not use this telescope to look at the sun this is the um, um, spotinoscope or viewfinder mount and this is the actual tube of the telescope and the front of it, there's a lens cap, which I'm opening it now. Oh, look at this quality inside. It's amazing, I like that. There's a coated optics. Beauty. Yeah, you can see my camera 
And if I want to put the cap back, even I can do it with one hand, we cannot do that with a big telescope, <laughs> believe me. This is a telescope that hopefully we will use a lot. Uh, this telescope has a F number that is the focal. Uh, the focal uh, length of this is 1250 milli millimeters and the, dimen uh, yeah, the dimension, the diameter of the main mirror, concave mirror, is 90 millimeter, 9 centimeter. So made in China, it's a Celestron, is an American company, but everybody now makes in China. I have seen videos, and I know that for as a fact, that the American version of it had a really bad reputation for being, you know, different. They didn't have the quality control, proper quality control, and one telescope, from this one to the next telescope that your friend may have bought it, where the quality was so different, the image quality and everything. Now they have done it in China. A strict quality control in China has made sure that this telescope comes with a standard, high standard that we expect. And uh, of course, Celestron is an old hand. This telescope has been since 1970s in the market. And of course, this uh, model of it, this version of it, is a little longer than the original. Original was this amount. And you had to turn, and the original was shorter. And you have to actually, if you want to try to focus it, you have to use the actual um, body, the tube of the telescope, to uh, adjust the uh, magnification and uh, the rate of it. And with this one, you can actually do it with this. So all in all, for 165 pound, I got this telescope. It's a small size. It means I can take it everywhere. <laughs> it's not very expensive, so I've not to spend a lot of money on this. So if I don't use it, I've not lost much compared to 2,000 pound for a telescope. And I'm sure that I will be able to use it, uh, to be able to take it everywhere with me. Another thing is that uh, uh, it's quite a small. And the only thing is that, okay, I have to buy a mount. I have to provide it, I'll install it to a, on a mount. You can use a camera mount if you have. Anything that can take up to two kilograms or two two point two kilograms will be suitable for this. And uh, other than that, uh, that's, that's it, it's, it's complete. I like this diagonal, and open them actually. Okay, this is the viewfinder. This is the eyepiece. I must say that I'm really impressed. The higher the number of the millimeter of the eyepiece is, it means that it has a, a larger view. Plocell is a very good brand. Uh, it's, it's, it's a um, arrangement of the lens. Four lenses at least are arranged in a way that give a very clear image from edge to edge. No, no aberration and no. Uh, no distortion in the image and 30 cent two centimeter is a good uh, wide angle relatively i can get a super plus hole which is it gives me around 40 millimeter of the uh, angle uh, 40 millimeter of the viewing angle that means also it's comfortable to look if you wear glasses in you know, i don't wear but if you wear that that helps you so it is easier to use it uh, by, it, it brings eye comfort when you don't need to poke your the eyepiece as if into your eye to get too close to it. So this is a good eyepiece. It's quite chunky and heavy. Uh, also, this is the actual uh, diagonal, erect image diagonal. The good thing is that you can use this telescope for viewing the terrestrial subjects, birds and buildings and from far away things and studying this, uh, you know. Uh, <clears throat> things in this uh, sky or the earth and uh, the image will be upright. Now I'm now going to assemble this and just show you the final assembly. Okay I've now assembled the mount and the eyepiece and the diagonal and I must say I'm really impressed with the sturdiness and the chunkiness of this and the ease of movement of it. Uh, I had uh, seen at the other telescopes, Maxitov and other things, I tested them in the shop and I was trying to uh, come ac uh, across the ideal telescope and I found that this one was really best in the way of being chunky and uh, at the same time a uh, ability to manage it without much effort in the dark and carrying it. So now the spot is sp scope I have to put it I will do it now. Okay I must say that I'm really impressed the, with the ease of assembly of this it just took me less than five minutes to assemble all this. Now the spotting scope has gone into here. It's a simple 
dovetail assembly you just loosen up this screw and then slide the button scope and it has also this uh, bracket uh, the bottom but which can go to the mount I will show you the mount later I have I have a mount for this proper mount and uh, I'm really impressed with the quality of this I can't hold it in my you cannot say with many telescopes that but I can hold this 90 millimeter main mirror telescope in, in one hand easy and the good thing is that immediately I can put it in the back easy as that that's it done in the bag ready to go you cannot say that about any other telescope <laughs> not, not easy yeah the telescopes enter the 21st century this uh, system works without wire wireless completely wireless just uh, uses the Wi-Fi to move and if I attach a camera to to the telescope I can just take pictures from my mobile <laughs> That's amazing. Welcome to the 21st century. Finally.